Hello YouTube users, this is the part 3 of the learning to shoot tutorial. I'll get right down to business. So let's go back to the FLA file and go over to the move the player function. I'm going to go over to the area where we have if right key is down and can jump or left key is down and can jump and underneath it put if space key is down open and close curly brackets player underscore mc dot go to and stop for test the movie to see if it does the animation and it's looking fine so I'll go back I'm going to go to the area where I have up key is down and can jump and I'm going to type if space key is down open and close curly brackets inside we're going to make a new variable which will be a bullet and set the bullets X and Y position and set its rotation and then add it to the stage so type var bullet underscore mc movie clip equals new bullet bullet underscore mc dot x equals player underscore mc dot x bullet underscore mc dot y equals player underscore mc dot y bullet underscore mc dot rotation equals player underscore mc dot rotation add child bullet underscore mc so let's test the movie by pressing control and enter now when i press the space bar the player shoots but as you can see we have an auto fire the bullets are at the player's feet and when I turn him the other way, he still shoots to the right. Our bullet does know what direction to travel in. But in our FLA file, we never told the player to rotate. We told him to change his scale. So technically, he is always pointing to the right. Flash does have 3D rotation, but we're not going to use it because it makes your objects blurry. So what I want you to do is go inside the player movie clip and make two new layers. Now put any symbol. I'm going to use my arrow. And call it rotation underscore mc. Now the second layer is to mask this away. So draw an object on this layer. And right click on the layer and click mask. Go back to the main timeline and open up the actions panel. Go to the move the player function. And in the right key is down if condition put player underscore mc dot rotation underscore mc dot rotation equals zero. And in the left key is down if condition put player underscore mc dot rotation underscore mc dot rotation equals 180. There is one last thing. Go to the space key is down if statement and where it says bullet underscore mc dot rotation equals player underscore mc dot rotation put bullet underscore mc dot rotation equals player underscore mc dot rotation underscore mc dot rotation. Test the movie. The bullets are now traveling in the correct direction. Now we need to make the bullets appear a little higher. So where it says bullet underscore mc dot y 
equals player underscore mc dot y put a negative number at the end I'm going to use minus 50 test the movie don't I rock the bullet is in the correct place but when we hold down the spacebar the player keeps shooting rapidly I'm gonna show you how to make it so that you have to keep pressing the space bar to shoot again and how you can add time in for the next bullet to be fired so that you can make a bullet fire every half second or so but if you wanted to make a really fast auto fire that's how you do it so to take off the auto fire I'm going to go to the top of the code and make a new variable type var can't shoot boolean equals false meaning the player can shoot now go to the release a key function and in the condition for the space key put can't shoot equals false now go to the move the player function and in the if condition with space key is done modify that a little add and exclamation mark can't shoot meaning when he can shoot do what's inside inside add another line type can't shoot equals true so now he can't shoot test the movie by pressing control and enter now it doesn't auto fire we need to keep pressing the space bar but there still isn't a limit to how fast it can shoot flash has a built-in timer event but guess what we're not going to use it the reason for that is because the timer will allow us to shoot only after the time specified has passed it won't allow us to shoot after a certain amount of time after our previous shoot it's kind of hard to explain but that's the best i could instead we're going to make it time by frames with a counter so go back to the top of the code and we're going to add three more variables so type var can shoot boolean equals true var pistol counter integer equals zero var pistol count frame integer equals 12 now go to the move the player function just above the space key is down and can't can't shoot condition we're going to tell the pistol counter to increment by one if it's less than pistol count frame so type if pistol counter is less than pistol count frame open and close curly brackets inside put pistol counter plus plus then another condition to tell the player that he can shoot if pistol counter reaches pistol count frame so type if pistol counter is greater than or equal to pistol count frame open and close curly brackets inside can't shoot equals true pistol counter equals zero now in the space key is down and can't can shoot condition add and can shoot and inside add can shoot equals false test the movie now our player has fully functional shooting and remember you don't have to have all these things at once you can make it auto fire every frame or you can make it auto fire slower than every frame or you can take off auto fire there are lots of combinations